You don't have to eat now. You can eat later. You can eat now. You can eat whenever you want. You have to sit and listen to me for about five and a half minutes. But beyond that, this is a party. This is a celebration. This is my way of saying thank you to my clients for being my clients. As I was up top, I felt the wind whipping through my hair. <laughs> That's not the funny part. Yet. And I was thinking how fortunate I am that we live in a country that gives us the opportunity to achieve our dreams and our financial dreams. I've been doing this now going on 30 years. This is when you say, oh, there's no way. He's too dumb. Handsome. Many of you have asked why I grew a little beard. Because my wife told me to. Okay. It's a perfect night. The weather is great. The market was up 500 points today. Until you go home and find out it wasn't, it was up like 20 points. That's okay. It's my show. You can't, you can't grow a business unless you have a team. And when I first started, it was just me running around like a chicken without its head. 30 years later, we have a great team. First started by Robin Wright. Robin, Robin makes this happen. Every year, and Robin, thank you. Mickey Maley, where's Mickey? Director of Client Services. Devin Colley, there he is. Okay. Devin's the guy that we want online access. He's the one you want to torture. Kitty Richie, where's Kitty? There she is. Kitty's my number two, my Director of Wealth Management. The easiest way to explain it. How many of you watch the old Star Treks? The old ones? Okay. Do you remember Kirk? I'm Kirk. I want to take my shirt off and I'm all emotional. Kitty is Spock. So, you now understand the dynamics that go on in our office. See, she gets that. And our newest intern, Amar, taking the pictures there. Uh, I got him on the cheap. He was in, supposed to be an unpaid intern. That hasn't worked out. He's become a highly compensated, probably the most expensive intern in the history of drugs. Well, he's worth every penny. Last year, I did something horrible. And for the last 12 months, I felt horrible. Actually, I didn't feel horrible. I was told how horrible I was. Mom, come here, please. Come on, what's up? My mom was on the ship last year, and I didn't introduce her. So this is my mom. Every month for the last year, I get a call saying, you know you didn't introduce me on the ship. Go back there. That was mom. My wife, Beth, see everybody, a lot of my clients, it's, it's, it's almost a family relationship. I know your families, and you hear about my families, but a lot of you want to see my family. So, Beth, you can step it. you got to come out a little bit. <laughs> Beth basically deals with me. I brought it to my office wife, this is my real wife. My daughter, Gabby, Gabby, you got to stand out. Gabby just passed her... CPT, Certified Personal Trainer, uh, which is not what she's going to be doing. She's going to be doing more of that. You'll hear more about that. The one I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about was Gideon. Gideon, come here. So, Gideon is wearing my shoes. This is not the first event he's worn my shoes to. At other events over the years, I look down, and as I'm talking, I just, I just happened to look and I said, those are my shoes. Why are you wearing my shoes? The reason he's wearing my shoes is ultimately he will take over my shoes. And as many of you know, Gideon was supposed to be joining us this actually last month. But Gideon has come to a, a point in his life where he's 22 and he makes his own decisions. And the decision that Gideon recently made was Gideon's going to be joining the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces. And he leaves for Israel in a month, and uh, gave him two years to do what he has to do, and then his ass better be back here. So many of you have asked why you haven't seen Gideon in the office. That's why Gideon's going on a little different path for a little bit of time, but, uh, but he will be back, and he will be wearing my shoes in the very near future. So. I'm also 
very fortunate. Not only do I keep clients for a long time, I keep best friends. And my two best friends are here, Wayne and Paul, and it's Wayne's anniversary. Uh, so we can all wish him a happy anniversary. And then lastly, there's one person on this boat who, if you had to like, if you looked in the papers for what does an accountant or a CPA look like? Bob, could you stand up? This is what a CPA looks like. And white shirt, blue tie, conservative suit. So many of you have met him, but if you haven't, truly, Bob is the CPA that we recommend to all of our clients. So at some later point, if you have a question or you need to speak with a CPA, Bob Manwarren in the back is the guy we're gonna be we're gonna be speaking to. Uh, we're getting to the, oh, social media cards. Did everyone get a social media card on the way in? At all? I'm on Facebook. My biggest fear was that I would go on Facebook, some old girlfriend would look me up, and I'd, I'd end up losing half my stuff. It turns out I spend more time on Facebook looking at people's dogs and you know, all their things. But one of the reasons we gave you the cards one of the reasons we gave you the cards tonight, we want you to like us on Facebook. And once you like us and connect to us on Facebook, we're gonna be doing, we got some neat things coming up in the next six, 12 months going out. Um, nine mistakes that you don't wanna make. It'll be a white paper that you'll get through our Facebook. Um, secrets of, of women investing. Gideon, can you go up and tell us who the DJ is? There's a wrap up thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so please, even if you have your cell phones tonight, if you could just like, go to Facebook and like us, Lance Drucker and then Drucker Wealth Management. I'm not sure why it's important to like us, but I've been told. So I had one special announcement. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-eight percent of our clientele are women, so we wrote a book. How to avoid BLS, next time. Bad Lady Syndrome, a woman's guide to financial peace of mind. And we address it for guys too, so you don't have to worry. All of our clients, as soon as the book comes out, will be getting either an e-copy on, on your Kindle or Amazon or Barnes & Noble, uh, or the actual hard copy. For our guests tonight, we wanted to give you some takeaway. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna email you the first three chapters of our book. You know, my biggest fear, like two weeks ago, we had 50 people registered. I'm saying, oh my God, we're spending all this money, we got this boat, nobody's gonna show up. So thank God you all showed up. Have a great night, thank you for coming.